everyone. Welcome to another episode of Brain Education TV. Today, I'm going to be talking about BHP energy healing. So maybe you guys have seen the video already. I'll link it below. We made a video that describes BHP energy healing. But today, a lot of you have been asking me, how can I do BHP energy healing? So I've invited Dami Kim to show us a demonstration of how to do BHP energy healing. Hi, Dami. Hello, thank you for having me. It's her big YouTube debut. Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so in a nutshell, BHP energy healing is using the nail beds of your fingers and toes to release tension in your body. And today, for example, we're going to show you how to press down on different points in your fingers that connect with your neck and shoulders. A lot of people have neck and shoulder pain, so I think this is going to be a good one for people who Maybe you, take, maybe you get massages, but it still doesn't feel quite right. Try this. It could really change your life. Okay, Dami. Okay. I'm ready. Okay, so everybody has neck and shoulder pain when you have a lot of stress. So this one will be taking only a few minutes to, to release neck and shoulder pain. But let's see how you are first about how tense you are in your shoulder and neck. Oh let's no. see my, my, how the Linda is going to oh, be revealed. Oh, did you get a lot of stress today? Lots of stress. Every okay. day is stress. All right, then let's see. So turn your neck to the left and see how tense your necks are. Neck left and right side mm -hmm. and the other way and see the angles also see the tension balls okay. so should people who are watching this video try this too yes please do it together so you can see your tension. you can do right away right now so okay, okay. So how tense your neck and shoulder i let neck first how's your neck i feel like this side is more tight okay good yeah. now this time let's see your shoulder tension lift the left arm and go as far as you can so and you can see far. the angles how much you can go further back it shows a motion, a range of motion shows how how flexible your shoulders, how tense okay. your shoulder muscles are. Okay, okay. now down, mm -hmm. the other arm up and see. That's great. All right, mm -hmm. down. So today we're gonna work on points in your fingers, which is middle finger and index finger, two fingers. So I'm right hand dominant. Is that why my right side is? It more could tight? be yes. Okay. Or you carry a lot of things right side. You are heavy is carrying true. more things. Or I, I wear my bag on my right side. Also, you use a computer all the time. That's true. Mouse. You know, I do everything right hand. Video editing every day, so much stress in your shoulder. Yes. I, I understand. Yes. I used to watch her every day. So, <laughs> so we're gonna work on your fingers. So this is self healing technique. Everybody, pick up something like this pointed, the sharp, sharp pointed one. It could be ball pointed pen. That's mm -hmm. fine too, which is sharp here. Or if you have chops to get home, either metal or wooden, wooden things. Either way, yeah. it's fine. So if you guys are interested, this that we have here, Dami and I both have, this is the BHP Finder. So we sell this on the Change Your Energy shop. If you're interested, I'll put a link in the description below. This is the best tool out of the pen and the chopsticks that I've seen to find the BHP. Me too. I'm using this one for myself, but this finds the most delicate area. So right. first thing is you need to see your finger, middle finger and along the cuticle you push the finder down so I just push on my right hand yes. right middle finger yeah along the cuticle and find the most painful spots okay so you're gonna see some pain there some pain is a little bit painful, some pain is really painful, some pain is really extremely painful. That's what you need to find. Just give a little pressure and find it. Did you find it? Oh yeah. Okay, good. If you find it, then put the finder right there and rotate five times to the clockwise. So like in a circular movement like yes. this? Okay. One, two, three, four, five. And stop and take a little rest. You can rub it that area too, massaging it. It hurts. It really hurts. It yeah. stings. That's the point. Does that mean I have blockage there? Yes. Oh my so god. So when you have pain, means you, there's a lot of blockage. So extremely, extremely painful area is you have the most pain there, which you connect to your shoulder and neck. Which is um, you're gonna some people who is sensitive, they can feel their oh, neck is relieving hurts. pain as soon as they do it. it so. Hurts. So let's do two more times. We you just do two more times. Which same is, spot or different spot? Same okay. spot for three times total. Five times circular oh. motion. One, two, three, four, five, and stop. 
and rub it a little bit. So, do you feel pain, right? Yeah, and it seems like, do I need a steady surface to do this? Because my tool keeps slipping off my finger. Yes, if you have any table, you can do it right on top of it. That's okay. best. Okay. Stable. Also, do you feel like saliva in your mouth? Check yes, it out. Yes, I do actually. That's great. So if you do this one, you know, the principle of a VHP is your sensory uh, receptor, sensory receptor sending the message to your CN, CNS, right? Center nervous system, your central nervous system, take action right away to heal. So mm -hmm. that time, uh, your parasympathetic nervous system is on. That time, the indicator of parasympathetic nervous system rest and digest is your saliva. So mm -hmm. if you have lots of saliva, you're in the healing mode. Yeah, I so, feel it. How's your saliva? I feel it. I feel my body becoming a little hot. Like that's I feel the same. some sweat on that's my nose. That's wonderful. If you have sweat and feel warm, that's also indicator of uh, your, you know, parasympathetic nervous yeah. system is on. And your body temperature goes up, and you feel breathing. Also, check it out your breathing if you feel deeper breath than before. Okay. Yeah, that is true. I okay. feel it going down. Excellent. It hurts, but something like is. Excellent. With the pain. All right, let's take your neck then. Okay. Would you like to check your yes, neck yes. tension this time? Yes. On your left side, and see how's your right side neck tension, and the other way. How's that? Oh yeah, much smoother. I could go further back now. That's wonderful. And it's easier. Before it would be like. <laughs> okay, <laughs> no. great. That smoother. was mostly on the right neck. This time, mm -hmm. right shoulder. Now this time, index finger. We're gonna do the same way. Press and find your uh, BHP point again. So is right hand for right side yes. pain and left, left hand, hand for left side pain. Okay. Of course, they are all both connected, but most likely right is connected that right side. Yes. Yeah, that makes sense. And it's all connected with the energy point, which is acupressure points as well. So especially this index finger is connected to your large mm -hmm. intestine. So mm -hmm. your large intestine margin go all along the shoulders. So mm -hmm. you're going to see big relief in digestion will be better. Also breathing will much better and blood moving down to your abdomen. I feel okay. like I'm scooping out my blockage. <laughs> okay. So did you find it? Yes. Okay. Now let's do, you can close your eyes this time. Okay. So you can focus better and five times rotation. One, two, three, oh. four. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Very painful, right? Then stop and rub it there and relax. Massage it. So when I feel pain, should sure. I exhale or yes. what should I do? So accept the pain. When you feel pain, don't mm -hmm. resist against pain. Completely accept the pain and relax into the pain so you can breathe out. Oh, that's not easy, relaxing I into know. the pain. <laughs> but everybody can try. If it's too painful, you have to let it go of the resistance. That's also happening too naturally. Okay, two more times. So it's three times. Total yeah, total. The same you, spot. Of course, you can do more than three times, but basically three times is usually good enough. But if you have more pain, uh, uh -huh. more stress in your neck and shoulder to do, do more until you have a big relief from neck and shoulder okay yeah i found a juicy spot Ooh, okay good is it two times right second time is it second time okay yeah. rub it okay oh i feel hot <laughs> oh yeah it's very sweaty right do you feel sweat in your neck and face I feel hot. yeah my nose Right. I feel sweaty. I feel sweat in the back yeah, of my exactly. neck. Exactly. So usually when you sweat, it means you're cooling down a lot of heat inside. When you got stressed, your your head got hot, right? Yes. So by sweating out, you cool down your brain temperature. So you feel cool head and warm body or warm abdomen. So that's uh, your perfect or proper or uh, optimal condition of your health. Okay. One more time. Last one. Oh, I already did it three times. Okay, good. <laughs> then we can, we're ready to check. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. now mm -hmm. neck, and, neck one more time. Neck and. Oh, wow, much better. Okay, then this time in shoulder too. If the right arm this time, go as far as oh, you can. Oh, wow, look. Oh my God. Yeah, wow, much better. And then left shoulder too. You can see the difference oh, still. Oh, this one's the same. Yeah. Because I didn't see? do much on this one. Good. But this one, it's like. Much better. Yeah, much smoother. So right neck, right shoulder got much better. Also, it influences in left neck, left shoulder. But if you do left side this time, you're going to be completely big relief. Okay, let's try it okay. this time. Left side. So start with the middle finger first? Yes. So why Please. the middle finger? Because neck is, uh, middle finger is in your body here. So this is neck. Okay. Mm. And then when you see it, this is your left shoulder. This is the right shoulder. Left leg, right leg. So your hand is a reflection of your okay. whole body. Exactly. So your your neck, your arm, your legs. Okay. So this time also middle finger first. 
So neck is the most, you know, when you get stressed, your neck starts getting tight first, yeah. and then movement is hard and then go down shoulder. So yeah. neck first. Okay, three times. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, this one's really painful. So it's easy this time to find it, right? Good. Yeah. You can go Oof, straight second and third time too. When you used to feel, you know, saliva, feel even if it feels painful, you feel like you can say, feel so good pain kind yeah, of thing. Yeah, it is a feel so good pain. You know, you feel pain, but you feel better afterwards and even during that time too. So, okay, good. Oh, yeah, I did. I just did it three times. Okay, good. Then, then let's see your neck. Okay. Okay. Left. And right. Oh, how's that? Yeah, smoother than before. Okay, excellent. Now, no, definitely. last one is index finger, right. then we're done. Okay? Okay. Go. Find your own spot. Important is you find the right spot is very important part. Yeah, right point, connect right painful spots. It trigger right there. So how do I know if it's the right point? Is it the most painful point? Yes, that's I the see. indicator. Yeah. Oh yeah, I found it. Oh. Okay. If you find it, it's really, really Ouch. painful. Ouch. Yes. Of course, you can find in all three your finger, nail, finger, uh, finger, uh, the cuticles, wow. but especially neck and shoulder, you can do this one. Yes. Yeah. How many times? I just did twice. Okay, one, one last more. time. Okay, good. One, two, three, oh, yeah. four, five, and rub it and. Oh, exhale. Ah. Okay, good. This time, turn your neck to the left, turn your neck to oh, the right. Oh, yeah, a significant difference. Okay, good shoulder to this time. Left shoulder. Oh, wow. Okay, wow. great. She has the shoulder. Yeah, I feel much lighter in my neck and shoulders. You know, I think rather than my middle one, for me, the index yeah. one was more painful and exactly. I think more helpful yeah. for releasing. You said this was large intestine? Yes. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> when you got stressed, it, didn't you sometimes feel like your digestion is not good? Yes. You know, you have bloating, you know, feeling true. not easy to breathe, that kind Very of thing. True. So, so, so right shoulder connected the left, uh, right uh, shoulder connected the neck. So once you lift up this one, also your mo motion of, uh, you know, in your neck is much lighter too. Wow, yeah. that's awesome. Who knew that you can release neck and shoulder pain by pressing down on your yeah. fingers? Yes. What a genius thing. I know. I, yeah, I found that so many people get better through just this simple practice. So one person I met, she had a you know so much pain and neck and shoulder. She go to you know physical therapist all the time, but after doing just a few minutes of this, she she didn't have any pain whole week. Wow. Yeah. So please try out and then give us comments. Below. Yes, let us know in the comments below. You can try it with, as Dami said, you can do it with a pen. You can do it with a chopstick. As long as you push down along the nail beds of your fingers, you're golden. And let us know if it was painful, not painful. Do the neck and shoulder test on yourself and let us know in the comments below. Next time, we can do another one, right? Yeah, I think she has more trick up her sleeves, you know, other, other parts of the body that she can help release with BHP, right? Especially hip pain and knee pain and lower back pain. People have suffered a lot when they get older. So I had a lot of a good experience with it. So next time we can introduce that one. Yeah, hip and knees, I think are a big thing that yeah. people suffer from. Yeah. So stay tuned for that. We'll be back with more BHP Energy Healing next time for hip and knees. Thanks Bye. everyone. Bye.